like to welcome Kamayu Akbar and Kenny Buffalo. Kamayu is an international karate fighter and Kenny is a professional karate instructor for the United States Kokushin Organization in North Carolina. Good morning. Hi. Nice to have you here. Uh, I understand, Kamayu, you are also an international film star. Yeah, a little bit. Make movies. I was living in Japan. I've been to England, Harlem. I did summer camp training and teaching. And now I'm back in America trying to start teaching here in America, uh -huh. especially in North Carolina, yeah. Mm -hmm. One of your movies, um, Fighting Black Kings, yes. uh, you had a quite an interesting role to play and something interesting to do. Tell us about that. Well, I had to do a lot, a lot of filming. I had to not only make the movie, I had to help take the people who, the film crew around, show them around, plus eat with them, sleep with them, <laughs> Plus, train was it was 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. It was very strange. Mm -hmm. Yes, you had, to I understand, you had to fight a 750 50 pound, pound bear. bear. Yeah, in Eric, Pennsylvania, I fought him, mm -hmm. and that was a tremendous fight because <laughs> I never felt that kind of power from a human being, and I still have him. Mm -hmm. That's why I like to I like to wrestle guys, especially guys. I wrestled a guy last two nights ago, 325 pounds. Uh -huh. He been pressed 445 pounds. Uh -huh. So. It gives me that extra edge by have by I've already have wrestled about yes. Mm -hmm. Well, what was your reaction when they asked you to do this? I thought they joking. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. But once I found they were serious, especially when that night before we fight, we arrived in Erie, Pennsylvania. We get the motel room and we go out to eat, and the next day we go to where Bell's gonna be. Mm -hmm. And then I realized it's serious, and all of a sudden I started getting nervous. <laughs> but it was very good, very good spirit, very good show in Kokushin Karate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kenny, you've had quite a bit of success um, in your teaching. Tell, you've received some awards? Uh, yes, uh, Governor Hunt presented me with two awards for the work I did in um, this state for Kyoshin Karate. Mm -hmm. When did you receive these awards? 1982 and 83, respectively. Mm -hmm. Now, you, I understand, fought. Uh, professional wrestler or the top professional wrestler in Japan. Uh-huh. What about that? That was, a, that was a, I had to gain weight. I had to go from 195 to 240 pounds. I had to be able to bend press over 300 pounds, you know. So I had to live in Japan four to five months out of a year. And I have a, had a special teacher over there who not only just taught me in Tokyo, he also took me to Thailand and Hong Kong to watch other different styles of fighting so that I would be more strong. They felt that kickboxer technique very powerful, but if they put kickboxing technique in a man that weighing 240 pounds and very powerful, very skillful, they felt that no one, even a wrestler, could stop him, not even a boxer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Now this professional wrestler also, I understand, fought Muhammad Ali. Yes, yes, he fought um, Muhammad Ali many years ago and He's a very extremely powerful low kicker. He kicks your legs. He does many kind of tricks, but he is a gentleman. Antonio Inoki, even though I fought him and we battled and we end up in draw and a lot of people disappoint, a lot of people prove, he still was a gentleman, mm -hmm. yeah. Kenny, what is the philosophy of Kokushin Karate? Kokushin Karate's philosophy is designed for street fighting. To prepare the person, I mean, for a situation that would occur on the street. Very powerful style, a lot of spirit. Mm -hmm. That's our message to the, to the world, mm -hmm. spirit. You're gonna show us a little bit of that today, aren't you? Yeah, I think we try a little bit. All right, <laughs> look forward to it. Yeah, 
Okay, that's very intimidating. <laughs> you both had and studied under the same instructor. She has, she has, Yama. Oh, yeah. Who is he? He's the head instructor of North America Kokushin Organization in the USA. And he's one of the top instructors in the world. Mm -hmm. And he's been studying karate, I guess, about 30 years now. Mm -hmm. When you teach this, do you teach this as using it as self-defense? Yes, that's one purpose that students learn. But the main point of Kyoshin is improve the spirit through hard, you know, hard training. Mm -hmm. And humming it. Well, if someone is interested, I think we do have uh, an address up there and a phone number where they can get in touch with you, Kenny, if they want to get, get started. Thank you so much for being with us this okay. morning. Yes. We have Kamayo Akbar and Kenny Buffalo, Kokushin Karate experts. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more in a moment. Uh.